I didn't know there was a fiber optic network inside my Aston Martin. In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to be doing the third part of my Aston Installations HD infotainment system upgrade. Um, I've been, the previous two episodes, we've installed the HD screen, we've put in the power harness, and now in this episode, we're going to be fitting the MOST interface that is a fiber optic device that we're going to add into the communication system of the car. So let's head over to the bench and have a closer look at it. So the infotainment system in a Gaeta near an Aston Martin is really uh, communicates using a MOST bus. So MOST, M-O-S-T, stands for Media Oriented Systems Transport. And it's an automotive standard to have all the different infotainment components talk to each other. So the actual stereo head unit with the tuner is one device. The CD changer is another device. The navigation system is another device. The nav CD that's in the boot of the car is another device. And the amplifier is another device. So linking all of those devices together is a fiber optic network they call the MOST bus. So to add our Aston Installations HD system into the car, we have to add a device onto the MOST network. So here is their device. It, uh, this is called the MOST interface. And uh, basically it has two things on it. It has a fiber optic connection with a plastic plug to protect it right now while we're at the bench. And we'll take that out when we're fitting it into the car. And it has an electrical connection. And so this is the wiring harness that goes with the most bus uh, adapter. And this only goes in one way. And coming off of this is a stereo set of RCA jacks, good old red and white, right and left channel, and then uh, here is the wiring harness that powers the most relay. And they've given us an extension cable to go with that so that this will be able to reach uh, further to where the rest of the wiring harness will be. So the exciting part about this is the actual fiber optic uh, interface cable. And what they've done here is they've made essentially a breakout connection. So we're gonna disconnect the fiber optic network inside the car where it's, there's already an existing connection. And then that's going to add this pigtail that we're gonna be able to hook up to our device. And if you look carefully at this, it's really just a triangle. So they've got one cable between these two that are, is continuous. And then on the other part of the bus, they break out this other connection. So it's really pretty straightforward. Now this is fiber optic cable. So this is not wire inside. This uh, protective coating is actually covering glass. So you don't want to crimp or kink this really hard in any way. I'm just going to basically go with whatever sort of the natural feeling limitations of it are. That's as much as you want to bend this stuff. So, um, and since this is optical, you can actually even see in the end here, you might even be able to get a glint off the lights, that uh, there's glass uh, connections. That's the end of the fiber cables. Um, and if you're fitting this in the car while it's dark, you'll actually see those glowing red once it's hooked up. So let's head over to the car and I'll show you how to get this installed. So here we are back in the footwell where we've got all the cabling we've installed so far. We've got our harness from the uh, power system. We've got the HD interface from the screen. Uh, we've got the hookups for the front and rear parking cameras if you're going to use those. The auxiliary power connections for a dash cam if you're going to utilize that. So now we want to figure out how we can get this fiber optic uh, breakout cable installed. And up here, at least in my, so that my car is a left-hand drive American car. Um, hopefully in your footwell, you'll also find this orange most cable, fiber optic cable sitting here. And here is uh, the join we're going to split. We're going to take this apart and then we're going to add our, uh, our breakout cable into it. So it's really pretty simple. 
and I'm actually going to demonstrate it. I can do that over here just actually with the breakout cable. There is a plastic tab you just squeeze in gently and it comes apart very simply. So I'm just going to reach up here, one handed even, and separate it. Now I want to make sure I'm staying clean. We don't want any dirt to get into any of these joints. So now I take my breakout cable and I'm going to plug one end in here. I had to push the tab to actually get it to go. And then I'm trying to find the natural curl and lay of the land of the fiber. And now we have our basically our connection made so we can connect our most con our most adapter. So I'm going to remove the dust cover. And same thing. I've just connected that in. So now this device is on the most network. And all we have left to do here is hook up our harness, which goes like that. And now we've got essentially these cables and they included this extension cable uh, that we can also get connected up and it only fits one way. So then we have the extra length we'll need to get to where this all is going to connect to in a later video. So remember, uh, we have to find a home for this and uh, the Aston installations team Later on, we're going to talk about it, but one of the homes that it could sit into is it could just sort of tuck up here in this corner, maybe stand on the end like that with the wires. Again, you kind of want to do that to protect the, uh, the fiber stuff, but I'll do that in a later video when I actually start putting all this stuff into its final resting place. So that was a pretty simple install, as long as you're comfortable feeling brave enough just to interrupt the fiber optic network. Um, it's pretty uh, simple just to hook that fiber optic device up. We have more cables now that we're going to be dealing with in the future here, um, building up here in the footwell. So down here you're going to find the companion blog article where I'll have links to maybe what the most standard is and a few other things like that relating to this video. Up here you'll certainly find the next video in the series which is going to be, we're going to start putting in the controllers in the dash panel please go ahead and subscribe and you'll get automatically notified when the next video comes out. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.